and welcome to Cannabis 101 with Empathic Practice. My name is Felipe Muñoz. I'm going to be your cannabis coach today. We put together this course because after one year in practice, we realized that a lot of people have the same questions, the same concerns, um, and require a similar education when it comes to the basics of medical marijuana in the state of Florida. So I'm here to help you out to understand more how to navigate the assistance and to clarify some of those common questions. If anything shows up during this course that you think that you need to get more in depth with, reach out to us and we're going to do our best to look at your case. Because what we do here is to look at each individual and see that it's not a condition, but it's the lifestyle. It is your life. It is your life story that really makes the difference on how this medication affects you and what you get from it. So let's start talking about medical marijuana. This is a therapeutic herbal solution. There's not a set dose that fits all or a generic recommendation that pleases everyone. Together here at Empathic Practice, we find out what works the best for you. However, the intention of this course is to serve as a guide to your overall experience and looking at the most common questions we receive from our patients during the last year. So how does medical marijuana work? Cannabis has a ton of different chemical components. It's a complex plant that is still being studied and researched in depth. However, we know that there are a few things that you can rely on when choosing products. How you choose those products are based on what you know about the plant. Knowing that cannabinoids are compounds present in the plant and that there are 66 of them at least and the most known ones are only CBD and THC, we need to talk about the importance of all this. That every cannabinoid is important for a different reason. But what is really worth knowing is that they work better together. Different researches had shown that isolated cannabinoids are not as effective on specific treatment as cancer, pain management, and anxiety. And when several cannabinoids are present, that's what we call the entourage effect. Even more interesting, the plant unaltered tends to serve better medicinal and therapeutic purposes than concentrates. Your body has a series of neuroreceptors that are affected by these cannabinoids. That's what we refer to as endocannabinoid system. Cannabis is not the only plant that has these naturally occurring compounds. You can find different cannabinoids in cacao, black pepper, echinacea, kale, and broccoli, for example. Cannabinoids are also naturally produced by our bodies. There are little enzymes in our system that are constantly producing and destroying cannabinoids. So our relationship with the plant is much deeper and much more interesting than just what is portrayed out there in the mainstream. Sliders, five french fries and four large cherry cokes. I want the same except make mine diet cokes. So think of medical marijuana as a supplement for the system, for the endocannabinoid system. A way not only to replenish but to balance the deficiency that may occur because of different habits, diets, lifestyle and genetic predisposition. All those reasons are why we believe it's important for you to understand what is available as an option for your well-being and better quality of life, as well as knowing how you may be affected depending on who you are. That's what really matters.